Well, boys, welcome to another video. Yep. You see, we got the trailer and we got a special guest with us. We're going to go get something. So you're just going to have to stay tuned for the drive. Well, boys, we have arrived here and you can see it's official. Nick has purchased it. I will uh, give you a little rundown on this Tatum car. So Nick already has like big plans for this thing. Like he already wants this and, and that and this and that. And I'm like, dude, let's just go get the car. And then, you know, you can deal with changing this, changing that. And, you know, but it's, oh, 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 oh. let me help him, hold on. All right, boys, Nick has pulled her in. She's coming home. Nick, tell them what we got real quick. We got a 2006 Tatum Black Widow. Tatum Black Widow. With a Venom LS2. That's in a and, then it, S4 and I'm sure Nick's buying a new motor already. He's got a lot of plants. That's, that's going to be a little hot there, but yeah. He's going to try to put a board in. Yeah, it's good. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Just bring it over here. <laughs> bring it back over here. I don't know. Yeah, bring it yeah, it's here. Or a crescent wrench. I'm going to give you the key. Anything you need is in there. What kind of wrench do you want? You can use a crescent wrench. Any kind. Crescent yeah. wrench, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Which way does it go? Which way does it go? Uh, that's a good question. It goes. Look at guy. We got lost a bolt on the way here. Uh, the part that bends in goes other way. Yeah, like that. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we lost the handle, guys. Well, here it is. So we will uh, take it home. We're in Arizona right now, and you know, beautiful place, beautiful town. But this place is so hot. So we got to get back to California, where it's just a little cooler. I think when we left, it said like 68. We got here, it said like 98. So, well, this is why we can't go to the desert in the summertime. Well, it's in the garage, boys. Of course, Nick stuck her in here. Oh, if you're wondering what that is, yep, that's my motor. Don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm going to show you. Right now, we got to cover it up so she don't get all dirty. But here it is. Bam. Now, if you're wondering why it's all like jacked up like this. So me and Nick have been jacking it up, measuring to see. He's debating if he's going to go motorhome or toy hauler truck. He still does not know uh, what, you know what he wants to do. But... That's why, you know, it's looking like a Cali lift over here. But here it is. It's a uh, 2006 Tatum Black Widow. Right there, you see a little spider right there. Um, Nick always already has, like, tons and tons of ideas and things he wants to change on it. Of course, you know, you know what he's going to do. Uh, you know, shocks and the uh, interior, you know. So this is the dash. You can tell, you know, it's it's old. You know, they had, I guess, a navigation there they took off. So... It's got a uh, clear bra on it, so I thought this was all like scratched, which it is, but thank goodness it's just the clear bra. So Nick's gonna pull a whole entire clear bra off this car and rewrap it. Uh, other than that, it does have a uh, sequential, the S4D. So the bigger, uh, I guess the bigger one, I think it's got the bigger ring gear, I believe. I could be wrong, but I know the D I think has a bigger ring gear and I think that's the only difference, but I'm sure some of you guys will know. Uh, it does have a built LS2. There it is right there. There she goes. And I'm sure, don't worry, Nick, he's already talking about, oh, this motor, that, yada, yada. And this thing fits tight. I mean, it, it fits tight in so far in here that the intake is actually, I've never seen an intake like this. I don't know how how this got done. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy. Oh, look at, look at that. So that is that's pretty impressive how it even they even have it where it goes in right here sort of for the bar here so that's impressive but um we saw some videos of it you know things ripping through the dunes uh does amazing through the whoops so nick really liked that but uh it's got some big boy tires makes mine you know look like a little tonka toy so mine are the 35s up front and 33s back here well, Nick's got these big monsters. It looks like a 37. Like when I look at the truck tire and this tire, uh, it looks a little bigger than a 37. Now, these back here are the 35.5. I know, you know, I always see 35.5, 36. 
don't know the difference really besides 0.5 of a difference. Um, I notice every Tatum car, I don't know what it is, but every single Tatum car has 35.5. I don't know why they don't put 36s. I don't know the reason behind it or the geometry behind it. Uh, but I know, you know, you can get a 36 in a stage two cup also. So I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. It does have heated seats, front and rear. It's got heated seats. He's going to be changing flags. He wants a dual flag and uh, he wants to go with the antenna in the center and build this and that and yada yada. But here she is, boys. Give you a little walk around this side, too. They just redid this uh, transmission, which is good. 317 23. Looks like they redid these shocks, too, because these, like I told them, these stickers are like too clean. You know, uh, usually they're all like faded or all like, you know, beat up or, or sandblasted like this one right here so i don't know if they service the shock but this see this you know i told them this is like normal they get blasted that's why mine currently on my car it hasn't had any shocks for probably a month a month and a half on my car uh just because i'm getting every single piece of the shock re-anodized like this piece this piece this piece like all new stickers like the shock when i get it back i told them i want it like brand new interior the guts everything so hopefully my car i got probably like two months and this thing should be done and ready um this is a customer's motor i'm just finishing putting it back together so it's not my motor here and we are pulling panels apart because we got to put the new wiring harness on my car because now it's a gen 4 uh and it's got the 58x and it's got the ev6 injectors now so there is going to be uh, a lot of changes this this season i should say there's a lot of new things going on this season um uh, with trailer i don't even know yet what i'm doing for a trailer um you know i might keep this one i'm not sure right here i like this one i really like this one because it's 108 wide uh man it's brand new 2023 so we'll see i i don't know you know it's and it's 24 feet so it's it's perfect for me i can put my sand car put my son's car in here still have you know some room so i i don't know guys but i i do know you know i got a motorhome there that's got no trailer i got the hitch for it too uh, i am running a gen y hitch but what's on that one is the boss hitch instead of uh this distribution setup well because i'm not i'm not gonna need this so old rammer here um she's gonna sit in the garage for a while and just be used as a workbench you know that's about it now also what i'm gonna do for my car is on this motor that I got here, what I want to do is I'm going to leave it at a bone stock. I'm not putting a cam. I'm not putting anything in this motor because I'm going to dyno it. And I want to see two things I want to see. I want to see, number one, what this thing is going to make just NA right out of the box. And I want to see what it's going to make with a 2D transmission because my transmission is not even going to be in time for the season. So I'm going to have to drive kind of, kind of easy or I'm going to just things that explode and blow up with this motor i don't know uh, but it's going to be na right now so we're going to check horsepower na and check the horsepower with the 2d and then check the horsepower uh with the uh sequential see what that you know pulls because they robs a little more but also we're going to see also with a blower once this motor gets its blower done on their whipple uh, and you know we'll, we'll see how she runs but other than that this thing will be ready just just waiting on parts, boys. It's just a parts game. Uh, there's a lot of parts that this motor needs that is some is on back order, they say, for, you know, three weeks, uh, a month. And also fuel. We're going to be changing up fuel, not running 91 anymore. I'm going to be running the um, that 100 low lead. I think it's like, I don't know if it's the jet fuel. I got it from the airport. So I, I know a guy. Uh, at the airport and he hooks me up with it so i'm going to take actually my big 65 gallon tank and go fill it up with some more 100 low lead and i'm going to run that straight in this car nick's car runs 91 but he's debating on switching and going to 100 low lead also so we'll see but let me know let me know what you guys think of uh this old black widow give me your thoughts opinions on it um you know i know you're gonna say oh it's 2006 it's old well shit my car i think is like a 2002 my car is older than this thing so you know, I mean, I guess it's just how you monetize it. I guess make it, you know, good. Make it, put the screen, you know, update it basically. Make everything digital and run transducers and, and do all the goodies to it. So 
we'll see how uh, how it does and what Nick does with it. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.